Now, as the unrest unfolds in the Middle East, Nine on Your Side continues checking in, of course, on local military families. Courtney Francisco joins us now in the newsroom. And Courtney, what are you hearing? Craig, we are connected to group chats and families all around Ohio and Kentucky, and a lot of them fear more deployments. I found a military dad who lives in Hamilton to help me see the updates through their eyes. You're seeing two brothers, both in the Army, 23 and 24 years old. They each have a child of their own. There's an entire family right here worried they could be deployed to the Middle East. We know that the possibility is they might not come back alive, and that's the roughest part about it. The boys, Earl Wood calls them, are his sons. I mean, you worry about your kids falling down, getting hurt or anything. My sons, my sons can die, you know what I'm saying? They're defending our, our freedoms. This month, the Pentagon sent about 4,500 troops to the region to reinforce bases and airfields. That's on top of around 50,000 already there. It's unsettling, but at the same time, they're doing the greatest honor for the country, so I can accept that. He showed me photos he looks at every night. This one's time right there. The pair have been stationed across the world. He has not hugged them in four years. I got butterflies, you know what I mean, every time I think about it. And I could feel how much he wants them to hear him when he looks into the camera to send a message. I'm a proud dad, probably on earth right now. I love him and I hope the best for him. Hmm. Our local emergency management and Department of Homeland Security still wants people here to watch for potential cyber attacks from Iran. The director has briefed hospitals, Duke Energy Banks, and other companies in case they lose power or internet. Kristen. Thank you, Courtney, and we thank those young men for their service.